Hey guys, welcome back to another segment of LJ's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tamika Miles, and this is my dear friend, Mr. Charles Reyes. Hi, Charles. Hey, Tamika. How are hey. you doing today? I'm good. Thanks All for right. having me. So um, today, on today's show, we're going to talk about a few things. I want you to tell our audience uh, what you actually do for the school board. It's actually for the mayor's office. Oh, it's for the mayor's office. Yeah. Okay. Thank so, you for correcting me. No problem. Okay. So it's actually, I'm the community school coordinator at Morrell Dobbins through the mayor's office education, which is basically one of the three uh, primary components of Mayor Kenny's uh, initiative which is uh, rebuild pre-K and community schools. Okay, so um, why is Mayor Kenny so, um, why is he doing this? Because I've, I haven't heard any other mayor do this initiative. Well, I mean, it was part of his campaign run. Okay. And it was also to really begin to look at the schools in, in, in um, impoverished communities and look at the schools to, to identify them as so much as like hubs in the community to where um, resources can be identified for the students, for the community, for the families as well, okay. uh, through through um, different partnerships that's created to bring about in the school. Uh, so tell us what you do. You do this fabulous thing on social media. I'm always seeing him do these um, uh, giveaways, this food giveaway on right. Wednesdays for the community. Right. So tell us about that. Well, that's uh, Fresh Fall Wednesdays. Okay. It's a partnership that I created with Put Fill Abundance, where every week we bring in about 4,000 pounds of fresh fruits and vegetables and literally just give them out to the community. No ID required, uh, no signatures required. So I can come? You can come. <laughs> no, I won't come, but <laughs> no, I'll save that for someone else. No signatures required. They really just need something to carry their way in. We provide boxes as well as the boxes empty out. Mm -hmm. But um, so far, we've given well over 200,000 pounds of food within one year. And you were on Good Morning America just a few months ago. Could you tell our audience about that? Because that was like we were super hyped about that because, you know, one of our very own. Uh, Do so Dobbins, let me tell you about this, guys. When you go to Murrow Dobbins High School, mm -hmm. you are in a club for life. Absolutely. And we have brothers and sisters all over the community, all over the world. And we always um, well, most of us try to give back. Right. So one of your initiatives um, uh, in working with the school and working with the mayor's office, uh, you partner with Phil Abundance, Phil Abundance right. and uh, you're giving food away. So how did people hear, how did Good Morning America hear about? So from the, the whole social media piece, mm -hmm. and there's a, um, one of the directors over at Phil Abundance, apparently Good Morning America was really looking, scaling the East Coast for fathers that was doing great work in the communities. And so there was a director by the name of Hillary Stribal. Okay. And she actually uh, put in my story. And apparently, to my surprise, I was picked. That was so awesome. And so yeah, it was, it, it was. It if was, you didn't get a chance to see it, make sure you Google um, Charles Reyes and Good Morning America, um, 6ABC, I guess. Right. Okay. Right. So uh, that was super exciting. So you got a trip yeah. and they, they sent you and your family on a trip and gave you some other things. Yeah, it was a $20,000 um, check do donation to fill up on this in my name. Oh, That's that is I'm... that is so cool. So um, I wish uh, you were able to spend that $20,000 for yourself for all that you do <laughs> for the community because you do so much for the community. Thank you. And I'm so very proud of you. Thank I'm you. very proud of you for everything that you do for the young people, for the kids. Um, I want to get into this, what we're going to do today, and then we're going to go back to you. Okay. Okay, so today we are going, chicken sandwiches are all the rage, the Popeyes, versus the Chick-fil-A. I'm going to make my own version of Popeye's uh -oh. sandwich today. Oh, yeah. Okay, so are you going to be happy about that? Absolutely. All right. So we have um, um, we have some buttermilk and we have some, um, we're going to season the chicken with some salt, with some celery seeds, pepper. Um, now, I got a chicken and poultry rub that I really like from Lowry's. That has a lot of seasoning in it, so I don't need to go overboard with seasoning this chicken. But we have some garlic powder and some onion powder. And we're going to season the chicken up and we're going to season our flour with the same mixture. Also, um, we're going to, we are going to pound out our chicken. So I have some chicken 
that I'm going to pound out. I washed this chicken already. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to pound it out a little bit, get some aggression out. <laughs> And we have some brioche buns that I got from Aldi supermarket. So you can buy brioche buns from Walmart, from Aldi's, um, from some of the higher end stores too, like Whole Foods and Trader Joe's also has brioche buns. So we are going to get started. Oh, and I did forget the red hot, hot sauce. I put it somewhere. I'll find it and then I'll let you know when that comes in. Um, so let's get started. I already have in this bowl hot sauce and my seasoned chicken breast, but I'm going to show you, Charles, how to season this. Okay. So you can make this at home for your wife and your kids. Sounds good. All right. So I'm going to take, uh, let me see if I have a okay. fork here. I have some tongues. Whenever you are, whenever you are using chicken, you want to make sure, thank you for the hot sauce. You're welcome. Whenever you are using chicken, you want to make sure that you wash your hands if you touch it. Right. Because we don't want to spread germs. And if you are using raw utensils for raw, with raw chicken, you want to make sure that you discard it or you use another one when you are cooking right. the chicken. Okay? All right, so we are just going to pound this out. I'll let you do this. I want it, I like to pound it out a little bit because I want it the same thickness as the thinner part on the breast. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll let you do some of that. Just mm -hmm. like so. Just pound them out. Yep, Got pound it. it out. Your wife is gonna be super proud of you. <laughs> cool, and the same thing with All this right. one. And I know uh, Popeye's chicken sandwich is like super, super thick and juicy. So you want to use the buttermilk because it breaks down that muscle meat some. That's like okay. perfect. That's perfect. Not too thin. Okay. And we're going to season this up. So I'll take this out. Let me take it out and just put it on a plastic so don't mess up my cutting board. All right. So we're just going to season it really just a little salt. Some celery seed. Well, this is a little celery salt, actually. So we don't need a lot of regular salt. Some pepper. Some of this chicken and poultry oh, rub from Lowry's. Some garlic powder and then onion powder. And we're going to do the other side the same way. Smelling good. It smells good, right? Really good, really good. All right, so turn it over. We're going to just flip this over and do the same thing. Now, I know on some some people won't, um, they don't like to um, flatten this out some, but when I, when I was looking at different videos and different copycats, I was like, that's a big old hunk of meat to be biting into. Thick, thick yeah, it was too right. thick. So I wanted to do my own version. And if you find seasonings that you don't have to, that has a lot of seasonings already mixed in it you just use that because it makes it a lot easier I want to give a huge shout out to my new friend she helps me on my cooking shows all the time and I just want to thank my client Roxanne for always coming through and helping me and she's a person that's on my team now and I just I love her to death Shaquille was here and he had to leave so you know how kids are so we're going to take that and I'm going to get a bowl. Let me see. I'm going to get a bowl here and we're just going to put this. Well, first we're going to put some buttermilk in. Let's move these out the way. So is there a certain amount of time that the chicken should uh, rest in the buttermilk? Yes, absolutely. So I'm just going to pour some buttermilk in about a cup of buttermilk and the chicken should rest in the buttermilk at least an hour and a half. But if you can do it for like five to six hours, that's perfect. Mm. Okay. So it's going to, um, the buttermilk, if you need to make buttermilk, you can put lemon juice or vinegar in regular milk and right. it makes buttermilk. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. Wow. So I just bought some and then I'm going to pour all of this hot sauce in because we want it nice and spicy and we are going to just dredge that in. I'll use it to stir it around a little bit. And we're going to let that soak, but since for the magic of TV, we already have some that we have soaked. 
So we're going to get rid of this and put this back in the refrigerator. Okay, I'll just put this off to the side. So we have some here. Wesley hates when I get stuff in the shot, so. We have some here. I'm going to get my hands dirty a little bit, guys. And I'm just going to take this out. We have another bowl that we are going to, let me see, another bowl that we are going to pour some fresh buttermilk in. I'm going to take it out of this marinade. I'm going to put some fresh buttermilk in here. And we just want to create assembly line. So we're going to put in our flour, I like to season every layer. So we're going to put some celery salt, some pepper, some of that Lowry's chicken and poultry seasoning, some uh, lots of garlic powder. garlic powder. And I'm going to get some paprika and onion powder. I'm going to get a little paprika. The paprika will add some color. So we're going to put some just a little paprika in there, maybe about a teaspoon, okay? Just to add some color. And then I'm going to get a little whisk. So Charles, yes. tell me how, um, how do you get people to help in doing, like how can they volunteer and help? Well, most people- Or financially help, like where, where would they go to if they wanted to help? Um, any of your causes. So even if they wanted to help financially, you can actually contact the school. Okay. Um, and speak with the principal or via uh, Dobbins website and, or the Mayor's Office Education. But to, to volunteer for any community event that we will hold, I can always be reached at charles.reyes at phila.gov. Okay. So that is awesome. And he and you're on Facebook as? I'm on Facebook as Charles Reyes. Okay. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Perfect. So we are just going to take this chicken breast that I already had marinating, and we are going to dip it in the flour mixture, and then I'm going to dip it into this buttermilk mixture. I could have very well used it right from the marinade. It's not going to hurt it because it's still going to cook. And then we're going to dip it back into so, so does flour. that add like another crunch to it yes awesome. and actually you could add some cornstarch to this which i think i am going to add some cornstarch to the next one that we do um the cornstarch is going to add the extra crunch that you need wow. i am just dredging up the last chick piece of chicken so we have our buttermilk mixture back into our flour Guys, you know I like I like to get my hands dirty in this. I couldn't just be all pretty. I gotta get my hands nice and messy. But this is how you create the layers. You could go back and forth and do buttermilk, flour, buttermilk, and it creates crunchy, crunchy layers. We did off camera add some cornstarch to this so it's gonna be extra crunchy. So the first piece didn't get any, but that's okay. And I like to kind of just press it down after I do a layer or so because then it, and shake off the excess. All right. And we're going to let that rest for a second while I continue to talk with Charles and clean up a little bit. So, Charles, I want to I wanted to ask you a few questions about um, when you when you belong to a high school like our high school, we right. had a lot of. Um, famous people, popular people that came out, whether they made it to college, like a Bo Kimball, um, and we, oh, and uh, like, uh, we had Doug Overton. Joel Williams. Oh, I don't know him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what year did he come out? Uh, I believe it was in the 70s. In the 70s, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, we had, of course, our uh, very own Hank Gathers, who we love dearly, I Dawn know. Staley. So we had a lot of famous people that came out of our high school. Um, and sometimes people come out of our school and they don't give back. Whether it's, well, we're not always talking about financially, we're, we're also talking about um, giving back in a way of just taking time out with the kids right. or helping with different programs mm -hmm. in the schools. So that's super important when you, if you are a young person and you're out there, please give back to your local uh, school that you attended or um, anything that um, 
anything that you can do or give. Sometimes we have resources and we don't, we never reach back. And I know for myself, I am a very small business owner and I try to give back as much as I can. I've given back a scholarships. Right. Um, and the scholarships that I've given back was on a personal note. I raised money on my own or I took it out of my own pocket. And I'm not talking about recent. I'm talking about way back when I first graduated. I would go up to the school and I would volunteer and I would do different things with my old teachers. And I would give talks and go back and volunteer in my cosmetology class. So, I mean, it's very important to give back right. to your school. Right. So we are both um, alumni from our high school, but it's... Uh, we, I think we've uh, also shown that we've given back um, to our community, so Absolutely. that's very important. Absolutely. And can you, t I want you to, while I'm cleaning up, can you just tell our viewers about the gun violence that's in that community? I mean, it's, it's, it's really just plaguing the, the community. Um, and it's just something that I believe that it's going to take a combination of uh, effort from different community organizations so just to come together, community leaders come together and really talk about solutions. Uh, I think we already know what the problem is. The problem is gun violence. Allow those that's in position to take care of different policies and legislations, but keep keep the community members and the community leaders and organizations boots on the ground, so to speak, Tamika. Okay. And that way they can actually uh, talk to those um, that's out in the community to, to really, you have to have the heartbeat of the community. You have to know exactly what's going on at what time. And you got to remember something like the community never really sleeps. Yes. And so at any given time, you know, things can happen, whether it's eight o'clock in the morning, 12 in the afternoon or 11 o'clock at night. I mean, there's been times that, uh, the principal and I had to respond it. And tell them who the principal is. She's awesome guys. Our current principal is Dr. Tony Damon, and Morel, uh, Dobbins. And she's definitely a principal that's really about hands the community. Hands on. Hands on. Every, I don't know a student in the school that do not have her uh, personal cell phone. Wow, she gives her personal cell personal phone Personal cell phone out. And um, like I said, we've responded to students um, in different crises, whether it was the middle of the day or late in the evening. Okay. And so the work is all, always needs to be done. The work continues. And then, you know, just having alumni like yourself, uh, my class, class of 1993. Oh, oh, class of 88. See how you try to do a dig, man? I wore my shirt on purpose. In the class of 88, <laughs> um, just being able to have alumni to come back and really pour into the students is always a plus. And um, we always try to encourage uh, alumni to come back, whether they're prominent or just uh, a hardworking individual. Yes. Come back and give back. You know, um, Dr. Damon liked to say we, we uh, come in to learn and we go out to serve. Okay. But it's always good to come on back. Yes. Y'all come back home. A lot of times we have um, different events like our annual event, the uh, Male Leadership Forum and the Female Leadership Forum, okay. which is February and March of each year. And we always rally to try to bring members of the community, alumni back to be important to our students on that particular day. Yeah, so you have, out of that high school, because it was a vocational high school, uh, we have... Um, um, so many different um, people that are in the area, whether they're in leadership, they're in leadership in some kind of way, whether they don't, if, whether they have their own businesses or whether they um, work for someone. Right. So that is like super important for them to come back and give talks because it encourages the students. I remember for me, um, Irene Cherry was like my yeah. idol. Miss Cherry was my Cherry, idol in, yeah. in high school. And after high school, um, we, she just was like a mentor for me. And we were allowed, like my girlfriend and I were allowed to come to her home and we would have dinner with her. Mm -hmm. We would do different things with her. And we were like part of her family. So when she passed away, unfortunately, a few years ago, right. they, her daughters called me and said, hey, could you and Nicole come and speak at her, wow. her service? Wow. So we were able to speak at her service. And she meant so much to us, mm -hmm. even when she retired and moved to Florida. When I would go to Florida, I would go over there and, and spend time with her. And she was beautiful to the day she passed away. Absolutely. She was just always a beautiful woman yeah. inside and out. So um, we are going to talk about um, this chicken and we're going, get good. This, we're going to get this chicken going. It's, so I'm going to just do, good. I think I'm just going to do two pieces. I'm going to put them in, um, I'm going to put them in here. This one, I don't think I want. This one is pretty large. Get this one. 
I'm going to put them in this basket. Shake off the excess. And then I'm going to fry these up. And then we are going to get our buns toasted. I'm going to deep fry. First, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to, uh, let me get this out the way, Charles. Thank you. Put this in a deep fryer. All right. So these are going to be really. And I just put in, I'm just going to do two for now. We are going to take our buns and all get all the way toasted up. So we have these nice brioche buns. And we are going to, um, I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be back in a second. And we're going to butter these up and toast them on a, on a uh, stove. Okay, guys, we are back. Our sandwiches are, going to, are coming along really good. We have two that we already uh, cooked and we have two more that are in the fryer. So we are going to put mayo and pickles. And I like mine's a little spicy. Did you like spicy? A little? I like, I like spicy. This is, I like spicy but flavorful. So that's okay with you? Right. All right. So I'm going to put a couple dashes of hot sauce in this mayo. Just couple a couple. More, 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 a couple more? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's good. the good hot sauce. That's, this is the good hot sauce. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we're just going to mix this up. I'll get you to mix that up for okay. me. So uh, one of the things uh, that I did want to talk about with you is what is what are your dreams because you do so much for everybody else i want to know what your dreams are honestly yes uh public office public office public office public okay office. so we public gotta watch office. out for you for public office absolutely so you want to make a difference not just in your community but for the whole city in the city in the, in city. the city awesome the city. i love that in the city so we have our chicken frying on 350 degrees and oh he's putting some more hot sauce because he knows i like it spicy and i guess he does too um 350 degrees and we have our, our brioche buns toasted i'm going to get the buns off i didn't have the privilege of having um a popeye sandwich but i'm going to make my own i don't have to wait for popeyes to come back with theirs right So we're going to just put some mayonnaise. And we made our mayonnaise a little spicy. Nice toasted buns with some butter on it. And I put them on a grill, on a flat grill so that they could toast up. And let's see here what we got. Of course, we have one that doesn't have mayonnaise on it. That's good. Perfect. And then we're going to put pickles on one side. You like pickles or no? I do. So we have ketchup here because maybe if I can get some more pickles. Um, I'm laughing at, at Charles. I'm going to check my chicken here. It looks good. We want to we want to make sure that it fries. Um, and I usually check with my thermometer because I don't mess around with undercooked food. We want to make sure that um, we don't get Charles sick. That's right. <laughs> we want to send you good. We want to send you back to your family real good. Okay. And we want to just cook these breasts. For about a good um, a good 15 minutes, if they're really thick, but if they're thin and they're pounded out the way we did, about a good 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to let this go for about another three, maybe two minutes. That's a good thing about having a thermometer. Yeah, you want to make sure. Right. So I like pickles. This is like, plastics is one of my favorite pickles. So we're just gonna lay these down on our nice thing. We have ketchup here, because of course this is my chicken sandwich and not pot pies. But um, they were my inspiration for this sandwich. And Charles said, 
Where's the ketchup? Where's you have ketchup? to have ketchup on this chicken sandwich. Right. And I'm thinking, I never put ketchup on my chicken sandwich, but that's what he wants, so we want to have ketchup. Yeah, ketchup okay? goes with chicken. Does it? Absolutely. Ketchup goes ketchup goes with chicken, and hot sauce goes with chicken for me. Well, I'm just saying. They're both red. They're both red, but. And they both taste good. Okay, so ketchup for you. There you go. All right. So we let that go for about another minute and a half. I'm sure that's good. We're going to let it rest for a second, and then we are going to come right back with Mr. Charles Reyes. Okay, so we have our chicken sandwiches all done. Look at, look how good that looks. All right, we're going to put that on the bottom bun. Get another one. I did do a smaller one. I let this cook a little bit longer. Oh. There you go. All right. So we're going to put our tops on them. Look at that, guys. Look at that, Charles. Looks good. Looks it good. looks good, right? A nice big old bun. And we did pound these out, but this brioche looks really good. All right, which one do you want to try? We I'll have take, to get a picture, though. Take the middle one. You'll take the middle one? Okay. Do you mind my hands? No. All right, perfect. You washed them a hundred times. I did wash my hands a hundred <laughs> times. All right, I want you to try. Well, I have to. Okay, he has to put ketchup on his. I have, so. to add, I have to add my ketchup. Do you want me to get a knife for you? Do you want to like just bite into it? No, just bite into it. Okay, you know, all right. Man style. All right, you know? man style. You know, we put a, put a little ketchup on it. Perfect. And, you know, and put a little bit more hot sauce for the for the win. Okay. You know. Go Eagles, right? Go Eagles. I have a friend that's at the Eagles opening. I was supposed to go today, but you know. Oh, well, I want to be here with you. Hey, same yes. here. Okay, good. So here we go. All right. Oh, he really been into it, too. Mm. Okay, I need a tissue. How is it? Mm. <laughs> he can't talk right now. Mm. Okay, we got you a nice paper mm. towel. Nice and messy. I want to bite into one, but I have to talk. One of us have to talk. Messy so, is the best. Messy is the best? Mm. Okay. Is the seasoning okay? The season is perfect. Perfect. All right. So there you have it. The breast we is... We have... The breast is what? Nice and moist and the crunch. It's good. Like, okay. He's going to take another bite. I'm impressed. <laughs> Yay. Mm. Nice and messy, right? Nice so and messy. So this is my version of... A chicken sandwich from Popeyes, but this is just from LJ's Kitchen. You gotta go and try it, guys. Make sure you marinate it in that buttermilk. It breaks that muscle meat down and pound it out a little bit if you want. So we have our big old sandwiches. I think that I'm gonna take this one. I think this one looks good. He didn't bite the, the, the bun. Mm, I wanted to taste the chicken. The chicken is awesome. The chicken mm. is really good. I think that I would want just a little bit more mayonnaise. I like a lot of mayonnaise. And it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to say, excuse me for talking. I'm going to say thank you, Mr. Charles Reyes, for, I think I have food in my teeth, <laughs> <laughs> for coming and for sharing with <clears throat> us um, what's important to you. And I hope you reach your dreams because you give so much back to the community. And I really love you. Thank you for Mama's having me. thing, brother. Thank you for having me. Yes. Make your own chicken sandwich, guys. The best. Bye for now. I'm going to take another bite. Yeah, it's really good.